Um, can you guys just help us thank all of our crew people behind the scenes who make this all happen? Awesome dudes behind me playing all the songs. Um, okay, so we're gonna do one more song, but before that, two things. Number one is if you got a world vision package. concert that I went went to yesterday I went to see Jesus culture I I love their music um, Jesus culture was the first Christian music I ever listened to when I first came to accepting Jesus as my Lord and Savior when I first came into this path Jesus culture was you know was my help when it came to prayer sometimes we don't know how to put prayer into words but there's music out there that have the right words that you want to tell God and you just sing them to him because you don't know, at least with me, 
there's times where I have words, but I don't know how to take them out. So I remember a song and I'll be like, this is how I feel. And I start singing it to God and I'll say, God, through this song, I want you to hear my prayer. Through this song, I want you to hear my cry, my praise, my, my surrender to you, Father. And Jesus Culture, especially Kim Walker Smith and Katie Torwald, their music have truly truly been a big help when it comes to me communicating and trying to speak to my daddy up in heaven because sometimes I'm just like God I don't have words but I know in my heart that I want to talk to you and then I'll be like hey you know these words might not be mine and neither are the lyrics but I feel this way and this song is for you and I want you to listen to it and I want you to speak to me so Jesus culture has been a big part of my Christianity um I love their music um, from the beginning to the end. Like I listened to their first ever albums to like their nows and you know, their music doesn't get old. Their music doesn't fade. Their music is not something that you be like, oh, I don't want to listen to it no more. No, it's something that you just go on forever and ever listening to because it's it, at least with me, it has been something that it has met me in my seasons. There's songs that they have that I have met me in my season. So I had to go see them and it was the best night ever. I went with my daughter. This is the second concert I experienced with my daughter. The first one was Carrie Job, And it was just, it was everything I asked God for. You know, I cried. I hugged people that I didn't know. <laughs> you know, there was this one man who, who, I seen he was big and buffy and I was like, oh my goodness, I saw this man just was on the ground surrendering, humbled himself down, crying to God. And you would think this big muscly guy would be like, I thought he was security. But you know, you would think that someone like him, at least when you're judging by the cover, you'd be like, yeah, right. Like this guy gotta be security, he probably doesn't even serve God. But when I looked back and I saw this man, tears running down his eyes, telling God, Sur I surrender to you, Lord. Lord, speak to me. Lord, you know, just come to me. And just him singing out loud. And, you know, he didn't have the greatest voice because, come on, he's buff. And he had, like, that buff, incredible hawk voice. But he was worshiping God, and he was singing to God, and he was crying. And I was like, I was crying, and I was just, like, emotional. And i just been going through a battle where yesterday that battle seemed so far from me, and it mattered nothing to me because God... I surrendered it to him last night and even the preaching like Jesus Culture's pastor was preaching and he was talking about Exodus and he was speaking about um how God told Moses you're gonna go to this land you're gonna have this you're gonna have that but my presence will not go with you and how Moses was like well if your presence is not going with me then I'm not going there because without your presence there's nothing without your presence nothing's good and at that moment God was letting me know like Maria it doesn't matter it doesn't matter whether people accept you whether people love you whether people see what I'm doing just remember that what matters is that everywhere you go my presence is with you and if it's not with you then that then it should be no good the place where you're going always make sure that I am walking with you wherever you go. And I was like, God, you are all that matters. And it was just amazing. I excuse my voice. It sounds a little raspy. I've been sick for almost two weeks now. I've been with a cold. And this is what happens when I'm in a cold. I just, I have a raspy voice. And it doesn't help that the weather is like rainy and not rainy, rainy. Like, you know, it's fall. And I live in New England, so this is what happens. But I want to read something to you guys that was put in my heart. Um, it's in Psalms 28, verse um, 6 through 9. And I read a psalm a day, every day. And this was on my 28th day of reading psalms. And I want you guys... Excuse me. And I want you guys to 
to to to you know look it up in your own Bibles um, because not all our Bibles are written the same minus NIV so it's like more modern more now I guess and um, but I want you guys to look it up and I'm gonna I'm gonna um, end up writing Psalms 28 verse 6 through 9 so you guys could like follow it and um, it says the Word of God is read in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And it says, Praise be to the Lord, for He has heard my cry for mercy. The Lord is my strength and my shield. My heart trusts in Him, and I am helped. The Lord is the strength of His... I mean, sorry. And I am helped. My heart leaps for joy, and I will give thanks to Him in song. The Lord is the strength of His people a fortress of salvation for his anointed one. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd and carry them forever. Amen. I'm sorry that I messed up a little bit there, guys. I just, I jumped. But how amazing is that? How amazing is it that our God is our God of salvation, our God of hope, our God of, our God of healing, our God of you know, the God that is there when we're going through so much in life. And God reminded me last night that he is always with me no matter what. But he also remem reminded me that in my times of troubles, I cannot act on my fear. Sometimes we act on our fears and we give an attitude or we, we automatically put that wall up, you know, and that, that wall where you're not going to attack me. Or I'm going to attack you first before you attack me because we're acting on fear. Um, last night, God taught me and told me, humble yourself. Even in the battles, even when you're being attacked, do not be in the same level as the enemy. Instead, humble yourself down. Humble yourself down to me and trust that I will fight this for you and there's a song in there that I, that, that I hope you guys love because when that came on, I started to cry and like I felt God giving me strength again and I just started marching and people were looking at me and I was like, I don't care. I'm going to march because this is what I feel the spirit wants me to do. And I started marching and I started singing and I was like, this is how I fight my battles. This is how I fight my battles. And I was like, you know, and I love how the song goes, it may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by you. And I was like, yes, Lord. And even now I get like these chills because God is so good. God has, God has met me, met me when I felt like I was alone, when I felt like I had no one, when I felt like I needed people to feel completed. God showed up and was like, girl, all you need is me. All you need is me. Be completed in my son. Be completed in me. Be completed in the spirit. And I have learned that. I have been going through battles where I'm like, God, what's going on? To finally realize that, you know what? I am going through battles. And every day I got to fight them with praise. I got to fight them with worship. I got to fight them in prayer. But I cannot rely on other man to fight battle with me. I got to rely on God, rely on Jesus and rely on the spirit to fight our battles. We got to we got to just rely on them. We got to trust in them and not put our trust in man because when we put our trust in man, we will get hurt. We will. We will, guys. The Bible tells us simply and clearly trust in no man but thy God, and that's who should, who should we, tr uh, that's who we should trust all the time, sorry guys, you know me, tongue twister, but I just hope that in some way, somehow, you guys have been blessed with this video, I love you guys, God bless you guys, um, and yeah, in another news, I am engaged, yes I am, he has proposed, my friends. He has proposed and I am engaged to get married and it will be in 2019 and I'm excited 
frustrated a little bit because planning is not easy, but I am excited. So I hope that some way, somehow, this video is a blessing to somebody because I do not make videos to bring followers to me. I do not bring videos to to be f YouTube famous. I bring videos simply because I believe that maybe one or two people have to hear word. And maybe the word that comes out of me is for them. So I love you guys. God bless you guys. And, you know, every YouTube says this. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the notification button. I love you guys. God bless you. Mwah.